Hundreds of volunteers help the United Way of the Coastal Empire raise money to help the local charities every year. But a smaller group, the Community Investment Volunteers, determine which local programs receive funding from the United Way. And joining us are two Community Investment Volunteers, Kelly Crosby with the Savannah Chatham Public School System and Lamisha Kelly with the City of Rinkin. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is such a huge campaign, I mean, that yes. does so much for our community. Yes. It does. The um, Community Fund is a part of the annual campaign for United Way. And this is where the um, individuals, the community members in Effingham, Chatham, Bryan, Liberty County can donate and make sure that their funds are used wisely to help benefit the people in the community. Well, we're getting ready to kick off a new campaign here, I guess, next month. Yes. And then that will last a few months. But then right after that, you go to work. Well, we're actually working behind the scenes during, during the, the campaign. campaign. Okay. Yes. While the, the campaign staff is out raising funds, we're sitting reviewing applications because each program submits an application yes. for us to review. We get some training. We review all the applications, make sure that we are all good stewards of the money that the community has so generously donated for other people to assistance. Right. And as you said, you, you, don't, you can't spend money that hasn't been raised yet, so you right. don't know how much each organization is going to get until that's after the campaign, right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. We're all waiting for that final number to come in so mm -hmm. we know how to allocate the dollars that are so needed in our community. Yes. So how do you go about picking who gets the money that is raised? Like we said, there is an application process and so we as the community um, volunteers on the investment panels, we go through all of the applications. We actually go and do site visits because it's one thing to see it on paper. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to see the money in action. And then we review the financials. We ask questions. We have one-on-one. -on -one, and that's how we decide based on the application which organizations are funded and how much they are funded. You raised an important point before that it's, it's not just one community. It's not just Savannah. This no. is many counties, many communities, right. many organizations that are really being helped by the United Way. Yes, That's correct. And we have volunteers from each of those communities that come in and help. We have everywhere mm -hmm. from students to retired people. Mm -hmm. We have active um, professionals. We have um, doctors, lawyers, mm -hmm. pastors, um, educators, people mm -hmm. in business from business all over that spend their time to make our community better. And some people that might be watching is maybe part of nonprofits that are smaller and might mm -hmm. think, oh, you know, there's no way I would ever be able to get any mm -hmm. money raised from the United Way. Kind of explain how you guys don't discriminate against any groups at all. You're looking no. to help as many people as possible. Yes, there is a process. And so what we tell any nonprofit that may be interested in applying and seeking assistance from United Way, we have the contact information. We have a Facebook page. We have a website. They can always stop by the office and visit. And we have staff that is more than willing to assist them in the process to see how the community to help them provide services. Now, when you volunteer for the United Way, can you say, I want to be one of the community investors? Oh, absolutely. Or? We would love for you to do mm -hmm. that. We have three different panels, the education and youth development, um, economic independence, and health and wellness. So whichever area su is, suits your interest the most, wherever you have some expertise, mm -hmm. we would love to have you come out and volunteer to, to do that. And, and also, limited math involved yeah. in what you Limited do. math involved. <laughs> That's the beauty of our panels. They all, we have a variety of people mm -hmm. on each panel. So we have some people that are very financially savvy. Mm -hmm. We have some people that are more into the mm -hmm. social services. So we have a good balance so that we don't depend on one person mm -hmm. to do any specific thing. Everybody collaborates and we put all of our ideas together to come up with some good outcomes. Yeah, that's what you were saying. But also if you're in Effingham, you can just volunteer for the Effingham panel. Or if you're in Liberty, you can volunteer okay. for the Liberty panel. So okay. the outlying counties have their own separate panels. So that's good to know. So if you have someone, maybe they're limited with their job or other situations, they can volunteer right there in the community. And that's good because they're so familiar with yes. the groups in their mm -hmm. own mm -hmm. area. Definitely. Well, thanks so much. Thanks so Again, much. good Thank luck you. on the Thank new campaign starting Appreciate September. It. And uh, we'll all be looking forward to seeing what that target number is. Thank and, you. And of Come course, to kick off. Yes. yes. This region as well. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank you. <laughs> Remembering an island's high student and her love for science. Next.